Hi and welcome to Dive World. Today we're gonna review the Sunto Soup Novo, which is the successor of the original soup, which was a giant success. Um, we're gonna look at the pros and cons and see if the new Novo will fill the shoes of the original soup. The Zoop Novo has, like its predecessor, the original Zoop, a big display, which is a dot matrix display. Uh, so the numbers are just a little bit bigger and easier to read. Also, it has a backlight, and this makes the display easier to read in dark circumstances, like during a night dive. Uh, the display sits in a solid housing, which, in our view, is very durable. The Zoop Novo has four buttons, one to each side of the display and two at the bottom. Um, they do feel a bit unresponsive, especially when you go through the menu a lot. The Zoop Novo has four different modes. The first one is dive mode. Most people will use that the most. Um, it has all your usual decompression calculations and it's using the Sunto RGBM. Um, it also has a deep stop capability. This means that you make your safety stop at a greater depth and also this will extend your bottom time by just a bit. Um, when you dive with enriched air, there's a enriched air mode. Um, you can set the amount of oxygen in your gas by a maximum of 50%. Um, it's only possible to dive with one gas. If you want to dive with multiple gases, then maybe the Viper Novo is a better computer for you. Um, it also has a, a gauge mode, which, um, in which it only keeps track of the time and the depth. Um, and, and the new mode is the free dive mode. Um, this is fun during a snorkel or when you occasionally free dive, but when you're a hardcore free diver, the computer might be too bulky and you might want to switch to a more watch size computer. The computer is fitted with all types of alarms, like uh, for depth, time, and when you exceed your limits for decompression. Um, it also has a big logbook, which contains a maximum of 140 hours of diving. And it also got a fun memory mode where um, your lifetime achievements with the computer are recorded, like how many hours you've spent on the water. The battery of the Zoop Novo is user replaceable, um, but beware, you need a small torque screwdriver and the original Sunto battery kit. Um, the battery will last you around one and a half year when you make 100 dives a year, which is pretty reasonable. Um, what we don't like about the uh, Zoop Novo is that the USB interface is not included, um, so you have to buy it separately to put your or connect your Zoop Novo to your laptop or PC. Um, what we also don't like is that the buttons are a bit unresponsive, um, especially when you skip through the menus a lot. Talking about the menus, they're a bit unlogical. Um, you get the hang of it in time, but before that there's a quick guide included and you might want to take a look at it. What we do like about the uh, Zoop Novo is the big display. Uh, it has backlighting, it's dot matrix, so very easy to read for everybody. Um, what we also like is the long strap. Uh, it fits over your wetsuit and any dry suit. Also the deep stop capabilities which are added to the computer with the Sunto RGBM are very nice. They will extend your bottom time by just a bit. Um, also the logbook has grown um, in comparison with the, light, the original soup. Uh, it's now 140 hours big. And what we also like is the free dive mode, which is added. Um, it's okay for a snorkel or when you go free diving occasionally. Uh, when you're a hardcore free diver, you might want to go to a watch size, but it's, it's nice that it's on there. The Zoop Novo is one of the best computers for diving for divers who are just starting. Um, the display is easy to read, it's simple to use, and the pricing is excellent. So, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Also, if you like this video, please leave a like, and maybe you can just put in the comments which product you want us to review next. 